All right, bolo buddies, I am about to go into the Goodwill bins and show you some bolos. I actually had some super fast sales, some items that have already sold. They have not been listed very long, but I also find a Lisa Frank that everybody just left sitting in the bin. Let's get digging. Hey, bolo buddies, thanks for watching. Amazing, right? All right, let's get started. All right, Bolo Buddies, here we go. I pick up this mug right off the bat. Would you have picked up this creepy mug? Oh my goodness, I left it behind. But um, yeah, he looks a little scary. I think I did try to look it up with Google Lens. I don't think it comped out super high, but wow, wow, wow. That, that guy was a little different. <laughs> Let me know what you guys think in the comments if you would have picked up the crazy man mug. I know some of those things can do pretty well, but that one just nope. I did grab this little bag of vintage ornaments and I've actually looked through them. There's some cute ones in there. Not sure what I'm going to do with those yet. I have not listed them. I'm hanging on to them for now and going to make a decision. Uh, Always open up folders, check for sports cards or trading cards, even stickers are sometimes down in those. And you could probably even pull out those sheets and sell the sheets. Uh, I don't really know if there's a lot of value there by the time it gets weighed and you pay for it, it's probably not worth it. But something maybe for personal use if somebody collects cards or I don't know. But I do look inside of them because I have found things inside of folders. I think I picked that little guy up. And a lot of times I pick up small toys and I will lot those toys into small lots. This right here I picked up and it was just too cute. So I have that one listed. It'd be great for like a nativity or, you know, Easter, anything like that for that little lamb plush. That was a Polly Pocket, but it was a newer one and it didn't have any of the characters. If it would have had the characters, I probably would have picked it up. But that one was a larger one and it was kind of heavy. It's $1.99 now at our Goodwill bins. I did pick up that shell necklace. Some of those shell necklaces can be a big money bolo. I think they're called puka shells. Don't quote me on that. I don't know if that's what kind of shells they were or not. So that necklace is sitting to the side until I can do some more research. But search on eBay, high to low shell necklaces, and um, you can see what they look like, the ones that go for bigger money, or higher dollar, I should say. All right, this right here looks like some sort of leapfrog. I did put that in my cart, um, but I have not listed it yet. I don't know if I bought it or not. I can't remember. Oh my goodness. Um, I did get some other books, some cookbooks in this video, and I think I've got all the books in a separate area that have not been listed yet. I kind of forgot about them. I did get that little live pet. There are two um, different colors, variations, and the one that is the black and white like I got does sell for more. There were a whole bunch of these DVDs. I thought about picking them up, and I mean, there were a bunch, but I comped out a couple of them. Comps were pretty low, but I'm wondering if I would have got them and put them in a huge lot if they would have sold but i also think some of the dvds were falling out of them so you guys let me know in the comments what you would have done is that something you would have picked up or walked past i don't know if they're like old vintage not vintage but older movies or not i i threw that card down but i did end up getting that card um vintage cards can do pretty well picked up this bottle it's a replacement bottle i've got that listed in my ebay store I always pick up the little replacement bottles, pacifiers, things like that, that people lose. And I will list those as replacement parts. I can't remember which doll that was, but I decided to leave her behind. Definitely pick up American Girl and Bitty Baby. Sometimes I'll pick up Our Generation, I think, which is by Batat. I did pick up this. Um, right now I'm currently making like a Mickey Mouse, Minnie Mouse lot, and I'm going to lot those up and put them in a small lot, probably on eBay. 
I grabbed this little puppy dog, but I haven't done anything with it yet. I'm trying to figure out how the thing works <laughs> and if it works and what it is uh, brand. I don't think it had the actual tag on it that told the brand. And I did say at the beginning that I did have some fast sales. So stay tuned for that. Um, these items have been listed for less than a month. Uh, just got them all up and listed so that I could create this video and pop up the screen shares of how I listed everything for you guys. Um, what I do ask is for those of you watching, I would love for you to participate in the video by as you watch, if you see something that I missed, something that you would have picked up, put that down in the comments with a timestamp so that everybody watching can go down and check out those timestamps and look at what you would have picked up. This helps me learn and it helps everyone learn and it's just a great educational, I guess, tool for these types of videos. There's been a lot of things where people are like, oh my goodness, you didn't pick this up or you didn't pick that up. And I go back and I'm like, I never would have thought to pick that up. So now I know. Um, any information that you can give as to why you feel like it's a bolo, if you've sold them in the past, if they sell fast, if it's a bread and butter, if it's a big money, all of that information is super, super helpful. All right, we are going to keep digging here. I am leaving in all of the footage. Um, I used to cut out a lot of the footage and really just focus in on the things I grabbed, but I feel like this way we can all learn a little more. This is a new old stock lock. Um, anything new old stock, I, if it's in the original packaging and sealed, I'm going to pick that up. It's got a barcode. It's easy to list. It's easy to ship. And it doesn't cost very much money because it's a lightweight item. So it's less than $10 that I'm going to make on that item, but it took me a couple minutes to list it. And to me, that's worth it. Let me know if you guys waste your time with items that sell for $10 or less. I don't know if those were, I don't think those were vintage. I do have some Trapper Keeper, old vintage Trapper Keeper folders listed currently in my eBay store. I don't think I sold them yet. Um, but I do look for old folders, whether it be Trapper Keeper or just uh, folders with things on them. Lisa Frank folders can do well. Um, Lisa Frank is being reproduced right now, so be careful if you pick those up, like for the stickers and the folders and all of those things. A lot of them are reproductions. You really have to uh, know what you're looking for. But if you're at the bins and it's cheap, uh, definitely pick it up. Uh, Lisa Frank can be a major bolo, and you're going to see a major Lisa Frank bolo that I just found in this video. I could not believe it was sitting there. Um, I do know why it was sitting there, but we'll talk about that when we get to it because I don't want to spoil the surprise. So stay tuned for information on that. All right, let's keep digging here. Lots of stuff, lots of stuff at the Goodwill bins. Um, I went last week and I got to tell you, it was it was not a great experience. They're, the bins were coming out, but they're just, they weren't great. So sometimes you find bread and butter, sometimes you find big money, sometimes you find things that sell quickly, and sometimes you find not much at all. But I will tell you, it is a great place to source and it all adds up. Um, I know a lot of you have Goodwill bins where it's still $1.29 a pound and $1.49 a pound, and oh my goodness, that's fantastic. We do have um, another location that's about 30 minutes the other way from me, and I think it's about 50 cents less there, but I've only been up there once. I do have footage of, um, that's where I found that wig, but really, you know, I didn't find a whole lot at that location, and it was really uncomfortable to shop there, but I do need to give it another shot, but I just feel like if I want to go, I want to come to this location. It's just, I don't know. I, I'm used to it. You know, it's change is hard. There are a few people that used to come to this one on a regular basis that I saw with the other one, and I don't see them at this one anymore. So they must be doing pretty well there. But anything is hit or miss. Any thrift store, any Goodwill binge you go to, you know, it's it, it's a matter of uh, some luck, really, uh, being at the right place at the right time. You know, they pull out three bins at the same time. And, you know, you're standing in front of one of them. And all the bolos might be in the one you're not standing in front of. Or they could all be in the one you're standing in front of. You just never know. I know there's times when they pull a bin out and I'm just sitting there staring at something like, oh, I'm going to grab it, I'm going to grab it. And I hope nobody else sees it. And, you know, usually I get it. But sometimes there's another hand going for it. So 
you just never know. I'm not sure what that is. Looks like a little nativity. I did not get that, but it was kind of cute, but I left that one behind. I Is this like a recipe little book? Should I have picked that up? What do you guys think? All right. Um, I did get some pantyhose, which those are not listed yet. I haven't decided if I'm going to lot them or uh, wait until I get some more. By themselves, the value wasn't very high on the couple pair that I haven't listed. Uh, later in the video, I'm going to show you some others that I picked up, and we'll kind of talk about that if it was a good buy or a bad buy. I did pick up these little sharks. Um, they're good for counters and colors for kids' educational toys, but one great thing about these is they were labeled on the bottom with which type of shark they were, so that was pretty cool. So I did go ahead and list those as a lot. This right here was a nice little find. These are food items from Leapfrog Grocery Cart. And unfortunately, I did not find all of them, but I am selling them as replacements. And stay tuned for a super fast sale that has something to do with food. And I'm gonna tell you why it was a super fast sale in my opinion. All right, we are gonna keep looking here. Probably could have grabbed a few more items out of this little tote. These may have been somebody's throwbacks. I'm not sure, but um, I, I think I should have maybe grabbed some more items out of there. Uh, the food that I did pick up was kind of a test run and it actually sold really quick and I was a little surprised at how quickly it sold. So that is something that I am definitely going to look for more in the future at the Goodwill bins. But then again, maybe I just got lucky. Who knows? You guys let me know in the comments, how do you do with play food? And there was something special about what I sold, so stay tuned for that. Stickers, stickers, stickers. I always pick up stickers. I love it when they're sealed, but I'll buy them even if they're not. Um, you can sell used stickers, like uh, the sheets that are not sealed. I did pick, did I pick that one up? I picked that up, and it did not comp out well at all. Sealed VHS, you know, it's hit or miss. Some of them can go for crazy money and some of them are worth like next to nothing. That one is just sitting there. I'm like, I should just list it. It's sealed. Maybe I'll put it on Mercari where it's not as flooded or Poshmark, um, but on eBay, there were a lot listed and they weren't going for much. Media at my location is 59 cents a pound currently. Uh, there were some beads. I did pick up some of the beads. I'm gonna just kind of lot those in a small lot probably. Uh, I probably should have grabbed more of them. I saw some that I left behind. Right here are nutcrackers and nut picks, and I listed those all together. They are vintage. I thought they were a pretty cool find. Uh, they'll probably be a long tail item, but I don't know that there were quite a few there, and I lotted mine together in a big lot, so maybe somebody's gonna be having like a party and they need some nutcrackers. So we shall see. You will see them maybe in a future what sold. Um, I do what sold videos where I tell you what I sold on eBay. I also show you what I sold on Mercari and I tell you what I sold on Poshmark and I do those in separate videos. Uh, I probably should put them all in one video. That might be kind of cool to try sometime just to show you guys that skip my Poshmark and Mercari videos what is actually selling on those platforms. I think people think if they don't sell on the platform, they don't need to know what the items are that are selling. But honestly, those items sell on all platforms. I have them cross posted. They just sold quicker on Mercari or Poshmark. So I think seeing what sells on Poshmark and Mercari is important because you're gonna know that those items are doing better on Poshmark and Mercari. Um, I do start my items on eBay. I cross post with List Perfectly. There is a link down below that will show you how that works. It's a demo video. Basically, I walk you through the process of using, uh, using List Perfectly to cross post. Um, I also show you how to use the catalog. I currently do not use the catalog, but it has many, many functions that are fantastic. Watch that video. Um, it's not gonna hurt you to watch it. I know a lot of people are hesitant to cross post, but more eyes on your items is gonna equal more sales. I do have a referral link. If you wanna try it, you're gonna get 30% off your first month with coupon referral code BOLOBUDDIES, all one word. Check it out down below. Okay, let's keep digging. Anybody pick up those wood blocks? I was wondering if people ever craft with those. This is a magnet. Um, that is one thing that I always pick up are magnets. And um, I just kinda hang on to them. 
There are many different types and styles of those. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to build lots eventually of same types because there's different brands and I mean, they all stick together, <laughs> but uh, they function a little differently and they're not all completely compatible. So last time I went up there, I found um, some really cool different ones that had balls with it. This is a decoupage wood wall hanging and it had wild mushrooms on it. I thought it was really cool. That star thing, what is it? I tried Google Lens, I can't figure it out. I bought it, but I don't know what it is. Is it a letter holder? If anybody knows, let me know down in the comments. Somebody watching has got to know what that star thing is. All right, let's keep going here. These look like they are lids to jars. Should I have grabbed those for those of you that are canners? Should I have uh, bought those lids to sell? Would I have been able to sell them as replacement lids? Or they weren't even the whole entire lid. I think they were just the rim, right? I don't know. Maybe I could have sold those. This is some sort of toy. It kind of reminds you of like a Polly Pocket or a... I, I have no idea what it is. I'm just, I'm just guessing here. Anybody ever seen one of those? Did I miss a bolo there? This I grabbed and it is also with all of the books and stuff. So I have not listed it yet. It's going to be a bread and butter. I was kind of excited to find it, but um, because it was vintage He-Man, but it didn't comp out super, super high. I ended up putting that back. Here are the cookbooks that I found. I just thought these were really cute. Uh, some of the vintage cookbooks that are from, you know, different areas of the world and maybe specified to a specific place could potentially do well. So I'm going to try it. I'm going to test it out and see if I can sell those. But I got to find them first. They're somewhere in my money pile. Oh, look at the little teapot. Kind of uh, in rough condition there. Pots and pans. I leave them behind. What about you guys? Um, when you're at the bins, do you look at pots and pans? I feel like they're heavy and I feel like they're usually in poor condition. All right, let's see what else we can find here at the Goodwill bins. Looking forward to seeing what you guys put down in the comments. If you see something I pick up that you're like, no way, I would never pick that up, share with me down in the comments. I would love to hear that as well. It's so funny because I see things that people sell and I'm like, I would have walked right past that. All righty. It was a pretty good day. I found some good stuff. I'm happy. Um, I ha fast sales are always the best sales. They don't have to be crazy money, but um, fast sales are great. I did sell a plush for over $20, and it sold really quickly, so stay tuned for that. Uh, we got some stickers here. These are just look like teacher stickers. I did leave those behind, so I guess I don't pick up every single sticker I find, but I do pick up most for sure. All right, let's see what we've got in this bin. This right here, I don't know, looked interesting. Would you have grabbed it? I left it behind. Was that a mistake? All right, Bola Buddies, we are going to keep digging here. I'm not sure what this is, but I'm thinking it was new old stock, and maybe I should have picked it up. It looks like maybe it goes on a dog. Would you guys have grabbed that? And I did hear that I say dog funny. <laughs> I never noticed, but uh, a couple people have pointed it out. So, dog dog. Now, I, now I'm trying to figure out. I think I say more of like dog. <laughs> Must be uh, my accent. We'll just call it an accent. I did look these up. They did not have good comps, so I went ahead and left those behind. Um, I do comp things from time to time. Really depends on what it is. If it's a small, lightweight toy, I just grab it and go. Um, I can lot those up, make toy boxes, do different things like that with them. This koala was kind of cute little bit dirty. I ended up leaving it behind. Probably should have got it. I just love koala bears. I just think they are super cute. They're right up there with owls. Might be my second favorite. This little cute monkey, I left it behind. So I do pick up a lot of plush, but I do not pick up all plush. That one right there was a mega block, I think. Don't quote me on that, but it was John Deere. Here's another one of those dog things. Kind of interesting. Checking it out. I don't know what that was. I think it was some sort of Disney thing, maybe. All right, let's keep looking here, see what we can find. 
That, I believe, was broken. Otherwise, I probably would have grabbed it just because it's interesting. I don't really know too much about things like that. I don't do a whole lot of breakables, but I will pick up small breakables like that that are easy. Um, those were seagulls, and they were plastic. Uh, I recently switched over to American Bubble Boy, so that is the bubble wrap I'm using. If you guys are looking for a bubble wrap supplier, that is what I am using. I purchased some locally, and if you watch my reseller vlogs, I've talked about this. And when I got it, I was like, these bubbles do not have a whole lot of air in them. And I, I talked to the people about it, and you know, I, I just didn't really get anywhere. They offered to come pick it up, but I'm like, you guys, literally, I got like probably 15 humongous rolls. And I'm like, no, I'm not going to have you come pick it up. So I just went ahead and kept it and dealt with it and just used extra bubble wrap on everything I bubble wrapped. So I was getting towards the end and I called the company and they told me they were no longer doing bubble wrap. And I'm like, well, that makes sense. Probably because the bubble wrap was awful. Um, and I decided to go with American Bubble Boy. And, um, I do have a referral link down below and they offer free shipping and I'm telling you the bubbles actually have air in them. It's a, it's incredible. I just can't even believe it. Um, it makes me realize how bad the bubble wrap that I bought locally was. So uh, good bubble wrap is definitely important. I have got the um, small bubbles and the medium sized bubbles and I have been happy with both. And look at this, Lisa Frank. I think everybody passed it by because the tush tag had been cut off. But I saw that and I knew that it was Lisa Frank. I could tell. I could tell by the color. I could tell by the pattern. I did a quick Google image search. And yes, definitely was Lisa Frank. So definitely a big money bolo there. These uh, pantyhose, I found a ton of. They are a major bread and butter. I was hoping they were going to comp out a lot higher. I ended up probably getting 30 of them, I'm going to guess. I picked up this little cable car, another bread and butter item. Um, on the pantyhose, I'm hoping people are going to bundle them. I did pick up this. I forget what it's called. It's called a Zuru. It's a rainbow corn, and it's got a sequin front there, and that comes off and it clips onto things. You're going to see me grab a whole bunch more of those pantyhose, so stay tuned for that. I do try to pick things up off the floor, especially if I knock them on the floor, but even if I don't, from time to time, I will pick them up and throw them back in the bins just to try to keep the area nice. Um, lots of pantyhose, so I went ahead and grabbed them. Wishing they would have comped out higher. Some pantyhose can be big money. Those, unfortunately, were not. But they were really cheap, and I've got multi-quantity listing, and hoping somebody's just going to need some cheap pantyhose. And I do offer buy one, get one 25% off when people add items to the cart, plus they get that discounted shipping. So that's going to be a really good price for some pantyhose. So hoping those sell. I expect them to be a long tail item, not my best buy ever, but I can admit that. That's okay. I just found a big Lisa Frank plush. Whoop, whoop. So exciting. That dog is available in my eBay store. And I do believe that I have it cross posted to uh, Mercari and Poshmark also. So I do use List Perfectly to cross post. I don't know if I mentioned that or not yet, um, but if you want to check out how that works, there is a demo tutorial video down in the description of the video. This item is listed. It is a cute little bunny plush. Love it. Um, if you decide you want to try List Perfectly, you can get 30% off your first month with coupon referral code BOLOBUDDIES, all one word. Um, I have been using it since 2019 and I love it. And I'm about to pick up what I consider to be another big money BOLO. Um, actually, I... It was a plush, so maybe we're not there yet. We'll come back to it. I thought I was getting ready to show it, but maybe not. So we're going to look through some more hard goods here. Again, timestamp those items that you would have picked up down in the comments. I love to learn from my viewers. You guys are awesome, and I know so many of you are bolo finders, and I don't care if it's bread and butter or if it's big money. Uh, let me know down in the comments because fast sales are great sales. 
that was a big old like trapper keeper thing. I ended up um, throwing that back. It was really heavy. Now, this food right here is the hook and loop. Do not use the word Velcro on eBay. You will get a Vero. Hook and loop is what you have to use. That food sold super fast. Those animals right there with the number on them, I did a Google Lens search when I was at the bins and I found them. And I tried to do a Google Lens search again, and I cannot find them. So if anybody can help me identify those number animals, what they go to, what brand they are, please let me know down in the comments because I am having no luck. So those are sitting to the side until I can figure out what they are. I think I have four of them. So I think they'll sell if I can get them listed. All right, I did pick these up. I put these over on Poshmark because they're kind of heavy and I just felt like they would do better over on Poshmark. They are like soccer, I don't know what they're called. Like uh, you put them down and you kick the ball around them. What are they called? I can't think of what they're called. So those items are listed on Poshmark. And I only put them over there, I do believe. A little uh, tong set right there. I left that behind. All right, I don't know what that big thing is right there. Lots of big stuff. I always pass by the big stuff. Lots of junk. Some of this stuff just should have gone in the trash, if I'm being honest here. Little trapper keeper, binder, whatever you call it. Always look inside those. You never know what you're going to find inside of things. Paper bags, trash bags grocery bags, boxes, look inside all of it. Speaking of, I just looked in that box, but it was nothing. Okay, here we come. Here we come with the big money bolo. I probably should have got that guy. I left him behind. I should have got that. This is a Martha Stewart plush, and I could not find one like it. I've got this priced at $97.50. That's what it's on sale for. It is a lighter plush, so you would expect it to have damage to it. It was in excellent condition. So really excited about that one. It probably will take the right buyer, but super cute. I thought I got this one. Um, I'm going to go look because I feel like I got that. Yep, I found it. Um, I had to put in the brand name to find it. For some reason, it didn't pop up earlier when I put in cow plush. I don't know what's going on with uh, the eBay search, but I've had that happen a couple times. I've had to search it different ways to find it. Um, got this little guy right here. He is super cute. Um, got him listed. He is a Manhattan toy, and I really like that brand. I've done pretty well with it. This little bunny was cute, but it had writing on the ribbon, so I left it behind. Maybe I should have gotten it and just taken the ribbon off. What would you guys have done with that bunny? Would you have uh, picked it up or left it behind? Got some Halloween items here. And I'm wondering if that's a jelly cat with the tag missing. It sure looked like one. This one right here, I went ahead and put on Poshmark with three other plush. Um, I'm selling those as a lot. Uh, just lotting it up over there on Poshmark. Really good deal for those. I think the tag had a name on it. That was a turtle and realistic items I like to pick up. This is a ape or a monkey or I'm not really sure what I titled it as. Um, King Kong Gorilla Ape Plush Stuffed Animal. And I found another one and I just hit sell similar. There's a cookie monster, but he was not in great shape. So I left him behind. Here's a cute little owl. That looked like a little shelf sitter. I probably should have got that cute little owl. Here is a Clifford dog. It is by Scholastic. So that probably came with like a book. Um, since it says Scholastic, that would be my guess. Maybe a parent's going to be looking for that for their child to go along with a book, kind of like the Kohl's Cares items that go along with books. This sold super fast. It's a Manhattan toy. Uh, again, I really like that brand. It sold for $26 plus shipping, and it was a super fast sale. So definitely be on the lookout. It was so cute, and I had a feeling it was going to sell well. All right, checking for stickers. I always look in these books. I'm just waiting to find my photo album full of vintage stickers. Do you guys see any plush that I missed? Do you guys sell plush? Do you think it's a waste of time? Do you think it takes up too much room? Do you think the items are way too long tail? Let me know how you feel about plush in the comments. I love it. I love everything about it. It's so cute. It's easy to list. It's fun. 
and um, it's easy to ship. I love shipping plush. Typically, I will put my plush down in a poly mailer, a bubble mailer. If they have eyeballs that are plastic, I will double bubble wrap the eyes and then put it into a poly mailer that is bubble wrap. You know, those bubble poly mailers. I don't know what they're called. Another option would be is to just bubble wrap the item and stick it in a regular poly mailer. Some people just stick them in poly mailers. I mean, really, it's up to you how you want to uh, secure your item. I just try to get my item there safely with the least damage. If it's a super big plush, I will box those. Um, you can put them like in a Ziploc bag and really like squish them down to make them smaller if it's a larger item. That'll help save you on shipping. And if it weighs over two pounds, obviously you have to ship that priority mail. You can go to usps.com and pick up free USPS packaging, priority mail packaging, but those items do have to ship with priority mail. That was a doll head vintage in the original packaging, so I went ahead and picked that up and listed it. Super cool item. I find another doll head, but it wasn't in the box, so I left that one behind. Should I have picked it up? You guys are going to see it here shortly. They look like cabbage patch heads to me, but I don't think that they are. All right. How do you think I'm doing? Am I doing pretty good? I've got quite a few sales already. Um, and those are fast sales. These items have not been listed very long. So I love a super fast sale. And that Lisa Frank, incredible. Super excited about that one. I do have it listed high because there's no others listed that are that size. I did use WorthPoint to help me comp that out. Um, I love WorthPoint. If you guys don't have it, I do have a referral link down below. You can go over, check out pricing. And if you want to learn how WorthPoint has helped me, you can search Bolo Buddies WorthPoint in the YouTube search bar to see videos that I have done that show you guys how I actually use WorthPoint and how it benefits me to use that service. It is a, um, I pay by the year because it's cheaper by the year. You can pay monthly. Another super fast sale. These are vintage pink little plastic baskets. They were super cute. And somebody made me an offer of 14 plus shipping and I went ahead and accepted that. Uh, these were Spanx tights. Um, I wasn't sure if those had been used or not, so I'm not sure what I'm going to do with those. Um, they just weren't in the packaging correctly, so maybe somebody took them out, looked them over. They didn't appear to be used or washed, but because I can't confirm, I'm not going to list those. I'll probably just donate them. All right, we are going to keep searching here. See if we can find any more treasures. It's a treasure hunt. The Goodwill Bins is a treasure hunt. I am convinced. There was another cookbook. Would you guys have got that cookbook? It looks like things you can cook with beer. Huh. Interesting. Sounds gross. <laughs> All right. Let's see what else we have. Digging, digging, and more digging at the Goodwill Bins. We are getting close to the end here. I would love for you guys to let me know how you found the channel down in the comments. I did pick up this little Gap Bear. I picked it up because I feel like it's vintage and somebody's going to be looking for it. So Gap is a store where you buy clothes. So it's an exclusive Gla Gap plush bear. I always am on, on the lookout for plush that is exclusive to um, certain stores because those are usually harder to find. So we'll see if my little gap bear sells. All right, we're gonna dig for a few more minutes here. Be sure to drop me a comment and thank you all for being here and for watching. Again, my channel mainly focuses on bolo items, items to be on the lookout for. I have a lot of what sold videos, uh, definitely educational. And that is why I pop up the screenshots of how I listed everything. I did pick that up and I use that as packaging material. Um, I think it's Ikea or something like paper that you draw or write on. And I just crunch it up and put it in my packages. So if I have a larger item, I bubble wrap it first and then put paper around it to kind of fill in the voids. And I have found that twice at the Goodwill bins. So be on the lookout. 
Look at this jean jacket. Should I have got that jean jacket? It looked vintage. Oh, maybe I should have got it. Let me know down in the comments. Here's that Cabbage Patch looking head that I passed because it did not have the original box. All right, you guys, thanks for being here and thanks for watching.